Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in another video today. And today, Reggie Jackson guard has exercised his $5.25 million player option. Gotta say, smart, smart move here uh, by Reggie Jackson to, you know, pick up, exercise, whatever you want to call it, this $5.25 million player option. I love it. Um, you know, obviously for the Nuggets, I don't know how you want to see it, good or bad. Reggie Jackson just had a good season, so I don't know if you can see it as good. I mean, that's bad. Maybe you can see it as, you know, you know, bad potentially because they're paying someone $5.25 million who's, you know, uh, I don't – look, Reggie Jackson's a good player. I like him. I think he's a good guard, good scorer, but is he worth $5.25 million? No. Um, and that's why I love this move by Reggie Jackson. Two reasons why I love this uh, decision by Reggie Jackson. Uh, you know, the biggest move in potentially declining a player option, there's two reasons why you decline a player option. The first one is if you think you're going to get more money in a contract, signing a contract, then, you know, you might if you don't accept your player option. Or maybe you just want a long-term deal now and you don't want to wait another year. That's, there, I, I lied, there's three options. There's, you don't think, you know, the, the three reasons to decline a player option is to, you know, number one, you're going to get more money in a contract than you will with that player option. Number two is because you want a long-term deal now and not a, not a year from now. And then the final reason is because you want away from your current team and you want to go to a new team. Now, Reggie Jackson, I don't think qualifies for – Either three of those reasons. The Denver Nuggets just won an NBA championship a year ago. There's no reason to want to leave there. If he declines the player option, he's not going to make 5.25. He's not going to make $5.2 million in free agency. This is someone who is a veteran. He is 34 years old, almost 35 years old. It has been reported veterans are not going to get paid a lot of money in free agency this year. They're going to be very underpaid. Veterans are not going to make a lot of money in free agency this year. Reggie Jackson would be under that category, being 34, almost 35 years old. So that being said, you know, there's no reason to want away from this Denver Nuggets team. There's, you know, he's, he's not going to get a he's not going to get a long term deal. Someone's going to sign Reggie Jackson, whether it's going to be the Nuggets re-signing him or it's going to be another team, you know, picking up Reggie Jackson. If someone's going to bring him in, it's going to be on a one year deal. No one is signing, I'm sorry, no one is signing Reggie Jackson to a multi-year deal at 34 years old. Uh, but no one, I'm sure no, no one's going to sign him to a two-year deal. But he will, he, if, if, he, if he declined this option and signed somewhere else, he'd get a one-year deal. So, he, you know, that's not, a, that's not a reason why to decline the player option. And then the final one, making more money by declining the player option. That's not going to happen. So neither of the three reasons to decline the player option makes sense for Reggie Jackson. So that's why this is a very smart decision by Reggie Jackson. And and then the the fourth the second sorry the second reason why I love this move is because a guy like Contavious Caldwell Pope who plays a big role into this Denver Nuggets team is heading into free agency. He has a lot of outside interest. Orlando, Philadelphia, a couple of the teams really have interest. I think he's definitely going to look at re-signing with Denver, but. I think there's a 50-50 chance he leaves. If he's gone, I think Reggie Jackson is looking at a decent role next season with this Denver Nuggets team. I don't know if he'd be a starter, but I know his minutes would probably go up a tiny bit being on you know this Denver Nuggets team without Contavious Caldwell-Pope. This past season, 82 games played, 23 starts, 22 minutes per game. He averaged 10.2 points per game. He averaged uh, 3.8 assists per game. Also averaged a half a steal per game. And final stat, two rebounds per game. From three, he definitely shot really good from three. Actually, uh, one of his best three-point shooting seasons in a while. Shot 36%. That was his best since the 2020-21 season with the Clippers when he shot 43%. And then his field goal percentage this past season on nine attempts per game was 43%. So, like I said, I think he could have a bigger role if Caldwell Pope leaves. Obviously, Denver doesn't want that to happen. I don't know if Reggie would want that to happen. Um, obviously, he'd love a bigger role, but um, I think without Catavius Caldwell Pope, obviously everybody knows how big of a role he played in their championship run. This Nuggets team is not as maybe they can find a replacement for him, 
but this Nuggets team is not, um, well, I'm not going to say they're not as good without him, but they are missing a, a, a piece without Contavious Caldwell Pope. I mean, look at the Lakers. Um, look how good and how big of an impact Contavious Caldwell Pope. And I've always said this, the Lakers, you know, Contavious Caldwell Pope was such a huge part of their team. They were such a great team that 2019-20 season. They were one of the best teams in the Western Conference. I believe they were the best team in the Western Conference. And he was amazing for that team. Shooting the ball defensively, he was great. They won the NBA championship. I know a lot of people are, you know, will, will say, oh, it was a Mickey Mouse championship. But I think even if, the, I think the Lakers would have won that year, even if, even if there was a normal postseason. But Contavious Caldwell Pope was huge for that team. He played a big role in that team and was was really good for them. And the last couple of years, I feel like they've had a little bit of a missing void. They've tried to bring in some guys that could replace what they're missing uh, from from KCP. They really haven't really been able to find the the right the right player. Um, and I think they've really missed him. And I, I think that's something that Denver could have if if they lose him. It's not it's not like they're not going to be a, a a good team anymore. Denver will still be a good team with Jokic, Murray, and Aaron Gordon, maybe MPJ. I know there have been some trade rumors. I don't think that's going to happen. But they will be missing a huge piece if KCP leaves. Um, that's what I do know. Let me know your thoughts on Reggie Jackson exercising that 5.25 player million-dollar player option. And peace out.